Ta-da! <laughs> Well, how the heck are you, my people? So this is Tom DeMere Whisper. Who else would I be? Um, why would anybody want to be me? Why would I want to be anybody else? Why does anybody want to be anybody? Let's get existential up in here. Anyway, that's a whole other topic. So, uh, but I digress, man. So, anyways. Uh, some bitch. So, I found this. Two gingers. Irish whiskey marked down after the first of the year at my local Macadoodles uh, for 15 bucks a bottle. It typically runs. Uh, I've seen it run anywhere between 20 and 25. Macadoodles was running at about 20. And I'm going to be real honest with you. It's not a bad Irish whiskey. It's an Irish whiskey that for me runs uh, or uh, lends itself best to a cocktail than drinking uh, neat, which I typically like to drink, although I have drank this particular whiskey neat. But since it's his two gingers, his signature drink is ginger and ginger, although they've got a recipe on the back here that calls for two ounces of ginger, fill it up with ginger ale, and then add a lemon lime wedge. I'm not going to do that nonsense. What I, <laughs> I ain't going to do that shit, man. What I have here is two ounces of... Deck. What I have here is two ounces of the two gingers to about four ounces of the ginger ale. Uh, I'm using a Schweppes ginger ale, which is a decent ginger ale. Alrighty then. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Damn, Tom, you've lost your mind, I know, but what are you going to do, man? So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've kind of been in a cocktail mood lately. I've been kind of revisiting uh, the highball. I mean, I used to drink a lot of highballs in my younger days. Uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, bourbon seven, and I went to bourbon soda. Of course, I probably had a, a few Jack and Cokes in my day. Um But ginger ale, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, there, there are certain liquors that lend itself well to blend with ginger ale. This is a Two Gingers Irish whiskey, where his signature drink is with ginger ale. <laughs> Go figure, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. Um, I mean, does it knock my socks off? No. I mean, is it refreshing? Yeah. I mean, it kind of hits the spot. I mean, you know, I mean, if you want to drink some whiskey, uh, but you, you're not into the whole straight thing, you don't want to do shots. Personally, I'm going to be honest with you, at my age, I don't do shots anymore. Not really, because I think the only purpose of a shot is to get hammered. I don't see a need to get hammered quickly. I'd rather have a... I mean, if, I, if I'm not going to sip and drink neat and relax, I'd rather have a cocktail like this. And I'm kind of getting... There was a, I went through a period where this is all I drank was, was a highball. And I went through a period where I didn't drink any highballs at all, probably for about almost the last 10 years, to be honest with you. Now, all of a sudden, I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> finding the highball again. I'm kind of enjoying relaxing and having a drink like this, just kind of sitting and taking her easy. But there was a time I drank, you know, I would have a drink like this with the purpose of getting hammered, but I don't really drink that way anymore. Not that I don't enjoy hammered. I just don't want to get there quick enough. <laughs> Are you following me, people? Stay with me. Anyways, I digress. If you've watched me before, you've heard me tell a story, so, but if you haven't, I'm going to tell it again. Anyways, <laughs> uh, my, my dad was a Jim Beam and water drinker, or bourbon and water drinker. Uh, he, did, he didn't usually drink lower than Jim Beam. Jim Beam was his whiskey for the most part. Uh, on very good days, he had a... a he bought Jack Daniels on even better days. He bought Wild Turkey. Those were his kind of, you know, step up whiskeys. But when he was out, he always drank Jim Beam. He uh, he rarely ordered Jack Daniels or Wild Turkey out because they were more expensive. Uh, but Jim Beam was far from well bourbon either. You know, it was it was it was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that was his drink of choice. My mom was Jim Beam, or sometimes Well Bourbon, and Seven, that's what she liked to drink, because uh, she liked the sweetness. I was never into that sweetness. I did it for a very short period of time. I changed to club soda. I didn't usually do ginger ale, uh, but uh, I was kind of doing the ginger and ginger kind of thing. Are you following me to gingers with ginger? Yeah. 
Stay with us, Tom. I'm trying, baby. Anyways, uh, I digress. But yeah, I mean, it's okay. If this, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to convert anybody. If this is the kind of drink you like, if, if you're a soda pop drinker, yeah, I mean, this bourbon, this bourbon, <sighs> this Irish whiskey lends itself well to mix with ginger ale. It just does. Uh, it may lend itself well to mix with club soda or 7-Up or peanut butter for that frickin' matter. Who the hell knows, right? You never know till you try. But here you go. <laughs> that being said, here's the two gingers. Ginger ale. I'll see you later.